Hello Fleet Ready fam, welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming, my name is Savad, and today we're covering another episode of Civid Reacts. Let's get into it. So, today's episode is going to be covering two different videos. One that I've seen from the content creator Casablock a couple times before he can make some satirical videos based on Star Citizen. This one being 10 reasons you should not buy Star Citizen in 2023 or any other year. Always looking for, forward to seeing what humor he comes up with. Next video is going to be by Swanky called I Played Star Citizen for the First Time. Now both uh, of these people's videos, their uh, links for them will be in the description below, so make sure to give them, you know, a view as well and uh, give them some support. Let's check them out. O7 Citizens Black here from Castle Black Gaming, where my house is your house, and today I wanted to offer up my insightfulness and be completely honest here with my reasons on why gamers should avoid Star Citizen. Now I've narrowed it down to a top 10 list out of way more reasons that I could easily go on about because internet research has shown that since most people have 10 fingers, it's easier for them to just count along. So if you're thinking about possibly trying out this game, this video is here to persuade you to go spend your money elsewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the list. Game creators have many ways to make money for the games that they want to make, such as one of my favorite ways, that being the loot box. Now I love games where I can buy 10 to 100 loot boxes, not knowing what's inside or what secrets lay within, and just being surprised at all of the cool things that flood my inventory. I mean, who wouldn't want to spend their money on that? And so for CIG to offer up ships for sale that are just flying JPEGs seems a little out of touch with what gamers really want. Who would want to spend money on a ship where you know exactly what its purpose is, how many of your friends can fly along with you, and what size and types of ship components you could use on it? Who now compare that, that to a loot box where you're bound that? to at least get tons of powerful boosts or consumables, and having a 1 in 1000 chance to get that special mount or cool emote, that drew you to the loot box to begin with. There's just no comparison here. Yeah, this reason definitely. not to play the game could honestly be up higher than where it landed at. <laughs> the internet speaketh and the internet is righteth. 99% of the time. Nothing ages bad on the <laughs> internet, therefore that's really all you need to know. <laughs> oh, blockbuster. Now as the supposed war in Ukraine drags on, coming on its one year anniversary with no end in sight, where do you think your money is going if you pay Star Citizen to play their game? And yes, game was in air quotes there. It's obviously going into CIG's efforts to produce realistic war footage, which in turn can be sold to network television to help extend the lies about Russia. The irony here is that the game you play looks nowhere near as real as the fake war footage they create, which is just another reason reason to not play the game Has because they aren't even rewarding people who play the game I mean, I with know their I've very seen it with best, DCS which to me, and, if uh, I were a backer, Arma, I'd be but... tired of that foolishness at this point. Talk hmm. about a war of attrition. Now this theory is only just now making its way to the surface, but it impacts Star Citizen almost exclusively, as you will see here. So what <laughs> happened when the pandemic hit? Everyone stayed home, were scared to leave their houses, and this is how CIG was able to turn their fortunes around. Things were not looking good for CIG before <laughs> 2020, and so drastic steps were taken Super and deals were made, crap. and we are now able to see that after the pandemic, when so many businesses have gone under and so many games were delayed, that CIG is not only thriving, but their numbers are breaking records. CIG is easily on its way to becoming a billion dollar invested game, but that did not really begin the trend so hard in that 
direction until COVID. The details are, of course, not completely known, helped, but it but doesn't take a genius to see how much they benefited from the lockdown and subsequent fear mongering that hit the world. We're not saying that CIG can develop viruses, but has it really been looked in <laughs> to see if there is a link between viruses from computers and other connected equipment that is in everyone's homes versus supposedly catching it from animals? People interact with their own devices way more than wild animals. Just saying. Now one of these things here makes sense, and one not so much. So most intelligent people know that birds aren't real, but how does that tie into Star Citizen? Well, it's easy really. Since birds are just tiny drones operated by the government, and one of the key features still missing from Star Citizen is drones, it makes complete sense that the current government is trying to keep the truth from coming out. And if drones were to make it into Star Citizen now, it would expose their true look and confirm what intelligent people, mostly in the southern United States, have known for years now, that birds are not birds and are just tiny robots spying on everyone. So yeah, supporting Star Citizen is like supporting the government who is trying to keep the truth from getting out. That's hilarious. Now I'm not one who likes to see my namesake come up in dangerous explanations that are harmful to our world, but black goo is a thing that is more on the lesser known side of dangers to a free thinking society. But many people have seen it and believe it to just be nonsense fictional reasons to explain something bad happening like in the plots of shows such as Westworld or in music videos by Billie Eilish. It was even on the cover of the Guardian magazine featuring Greta Thunberg. Now, what does this have to do with Star Citizen? Well, black goo, or also known as graphene oxide, with those initials make up the first two letters in goo, which is a substance that can be in anything, including certain physical merchandise that could be sold to unsuspecting gamers. Now, the thing about black goo is you could come into contact with a small trace of it and be infected, and before you know it, it's too late. Or too late. it can just sit Damn. around laying dormant inside of you, coaxing you to make decisions you might not ordinarily make, like like spending thousands of dollars on JPEG ships. Oh, and it's most likely in vaccines as well, but that's another topic for another video. Much up for the goo. With one of the largest games of 2023 on the verge of being released as of the time of the making of this video, why in the world would you even think of playing Star Citizen? Star Citizen is filled with so many missing features, so wouldn't you rather play a game based on the Harry Potter world where you can actually attend Hogwarts starting out as a first year and playing for seven years straight, which isn't seven real years guys, but probably at least half that, plus more with DLCs, in a game that will allow you to do all of the things we imagine while reading the books or watching the movies. You too can live under a stairwell, or talk to snakes, or go out and play some Quidditch. And even if we cannot take on he who must not be named, I'm sure it's like his grandfather or something, or maybe his great-grandfather's butler. No, wait, <laughs> wizards had house elves, so yeah, maybe we're some runaway house elf in disguise with polyjuice. But regardless, why would you play Star Citizen when you can relive all of that? I, for one, am looking forward to seven years of charms class. Definitely looking forward to playing it too, but... Now this one has been flying under Star the radar, but some of the biggest political figures in the United States are not the only ones hiding classified documents, or maybe one of them has just found a better way to hide them. The code that makes up one of the hottest new features in Star Citizen, Persistent Entity Streaming, is riddled with its own entities where stolen classified information is being hidden there. Documents were smuggled over the border into Canada where we know that most of the PES work is being handled which all makes sense now. Why else has it been delayed for more than six months? The only real question is which political figure is the culprit? I think we might have some early Hurston family traits rearing their heads here. This is an excellent reason to stay away from the game because once that update goes live, all of our computers will be infected with stolen documents, making it virtually impossible <laughs> to take legal action against so many abusers of the law. Now, think about that for a moment. Now surely most Star Citizen players are adults for the most part, but the words of wisdom from your mom can still hold true even as an adult, and I'm pretty sure you heard something about spending your money wisely, right? 
Hell, you might even still be hearing it, if not from your mother, but maybe from your better half who really doesn't want to see your grocery budget getting eaten up due to your inevitable ship buying addiction. You're better off just staring clear and taking some wise advice from those who care. All right, so before we unveil the number one reason why you should not buy into yet. Star Citizen, I just want to say that if you like this video and want more content that in no way resembles this type of video, then please like and subscribe. I don't even have to tell you to comment because I know this video is going to receive so many comments from the haters and like-minded simple folks alike. Now, <laughs> let's get back to the truth before something happens to me for trying to get this truth out. All right, here we go. I know that by putting this information to video format that I have now put myself and my family at risk, but here we are. <laughs> the mastermind behind Star Citizen has ties with AI going all the way back to his childhood when he earned the nickname Chris Roberts. Most people assume his name is Roberts, like he's Julia Roberts' cousin or something, but even she is not a true Roberts, so there's that. No, he is a Roberts, <laughs> which comes from his links with robots, or AI as the narrative is now being change to draw less attention from himself. But make no mistake, he is as robot as robots can get. When he was a child, kids used to dance around and sing a song they made up called Old Chris Roberts Had a Farm. <laughs> Old Chris Roberts had a farm, A-I-A-I-O, and on this farm he had some bots, A-I-A-I-O, without here and a bigger, here, here, everywhere. Oh, that's good. It's so bad. It's so good. Alrighty then, that is going to do it for this special list for special people. I hope this helps you see the lunacy that is Star Citizen and why you should stay away from it. I mean, sure, there's other content creators who try to share their vision of reasons to not play, calling it a scam or a game that will never release, but the truth here easily outdoes any of those other purported reasons yes. not to play the game. Honestly. Just like my favorite TV dad when I was growing up used to say, the proof is in the pudding. Or was that, drink the proof so there can't be a conviction? I don't know. It's one of those. He was so insightful, much like this video. Anyway, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. Um, that's not bird poop, but expended spy fuel. And stay positive, citizens. Interesting video. Definitely some good jokes in there. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, and make sure, you know, if you enjoyed it, Give him a view, give him a like. In fact, let's do that right now. And let's move on to the next video. This one, as I mentioned, is from Swanky. I played Star Citizen for the first time. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be playing Star Citizen for the first time. Well, technically the first time. I played yesterday a little bit just for about an hour. So it looks like they're having some sort of holiday sales. I did my research ahead of time. Ultimately, I decided that the Avenger Titan uh, was going to be my best bet. Here we go. Good choice. This is a little bit different. I guess we can't actually go into any of these. All right, well, uh, let's go find our ship. Oh, hey there, bud. You okay, bud? All right. Coming in. Uh oh. Oh, hey, man. Nice. You uh, <laughs> barely made it in there. All right, what floor are you going to? What's up, bud? Oh, wait a minute. This is actually another player. I don't think he can hear me. I think I have my my voice box is off. That's what that whole time I thought that was an NPC. Okay, great. How do I get rid of chat? I think it's F12. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's get going. Running around in circles like a madman. Let's go find our ship. This is our very basic. Don't know you, but about, about you, chat. Um, but always enjoy watching new players okay. experience Star Citizen. It's always refreshing the seeing them, you know, their fresh eyes and their, their takes on the game. That's cool. Didn't do a whole lot of exploring yesterday, uh, just a little bit. I did get lost, and the uh, city looks amazing. Lost again. Look at that guy, he's all geared up. I want to get like him. 
you guys? Look at you all fancy and shit, huh? How do I sit down? Pretty lights. Not gonna lie, man, your armor looks pretty sick. Are we there yet? Alright, we're here. So if I remember correctly, I think we're going the right way. I'm just gonna follow that guy. Kasaba. <laughs> Welcome to the Aesop Vehicle Retrieval System. And yes, the ship is still here. Beautiful. Retrieve. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. And you're too. Please All right. visit us again. Let's go check that bad boy out. This looks like an airport, huh? We're just waiting around, standing on the seats. <laughs> All right, anger two. You're probably gonna be seeing that for some time. For some time. <laughs> and PCs have been standing on seats for generations. Anger 2. Hangar 2. Before so they used to crashed do... just as I was entering Hangar 2. I don't know what happened, but uh all right, we're back in our bed. We know how to get up. Let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get our ship trolley again and off the trolley you know Kasaba. Welcome. <laughs> I'm glad that this guy you know did a bunch of research before getting into the game it's refreshing to see a new player come into the game fully knowing that there's going to be issues when you come to play Star Citizen it's not going to be the smoothest experience but if you have time, patience, it will be an experience like none other. Awesome to see. Please to the A stop vehicle, vehicle, vehicle retrieval system. Well, shit. Claim? What are we claiming? It takes Your vehicle has been moved to our storage, storage facility. Safe and Looks like they uh, they just give it back to you for free, so that's cool. Wait. Your vehicle has been moved oh to our no. storage facility. How do I get my ship? Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. <sighs> shit! What do I do now? Uh you got my ship? Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Hey. How do I talk to you guys, huh? No oh no. I wanna talk to you guys, but I don't really know how. To the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Oh, okay, cool. I guess you just had to wait it out a little bit. Hangar 4. Let's try this again. Actually, I'm pretty thirsty. So I'm gonna... Can I buy some drinks? Can I buy drinks from you? Go to your right. No. Yes. Oh. Yes, I can. Energy. Blood energy. Investing in tomorrow's future. But I think it was in Hangar 4. I think it was Hangar 4. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. And she's still here. Love the Avenger series. Such beautiful ships. She is still here, and she is a beaut, boys. Mm -hmm. An absolute beaut. So this is the ship I decided to start with. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen it many, many, many times in other videos. It was on sale. I think it was about $56. I went ahead. Oh, actually, I, I bought the, the $3 olive green paint for it, which I... Uh, just remember that right now. I gotta figure out how to put that on this thing. Anyway, yeah, it was on sale. Uh, I believe it was fifty-six dollars for this this uh, uh the starter package with with this ship, which normal price I believe is around seventy dollars. So, you yeah, know, in, pretty in good comparing saving. this one to all the other starter packages for the the price, this was really the the best option to go with. Only flew it once for about 
10 minutes. Uh, so I don't really know what the hell I'm doing with this thing. I don't know the features. I, I understand it has a lot of storage, things like that. You've joined channel Aegis Avenger Titan Dark. Okay. Um, right to dismiss. Okay. Where's the storage in this ship? How do I... Where do I store things? I'm sure you guys are going to whip me a new one in the comments. <laughs> I'm really, really newbie here, guys. These things? That's okay. We'll uh, we'll figure that part out later. Right now, I'm just... Uh, the new player experience. Let's figure out how to... Let's figure out how to do the paint on this thing. How about that? Okay, I think we got it. So, I think we actually... I Let me see if I can do it from here. I don't think... Mm -hmm. Got it. Ship away. Yes. Yeah, so Store we gotta go away. put the ship away. Uh... Can I close this? I can't. Are you serious? There we go. I'm gonna go put the ship away. All about the mangles. I get lost so often in this game. That's right, elevator is this way. Take me back to Riker's Memorial or Riker Memorial Spaceport. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle and retrieval system. Store it. Okay, so now it's stored. For the latest travel information, Here we go. Sure there it is. There it is. Sweet. Oh, that looks so good. Love it. Don't get me wrong, it looks good in white too, but I just feel like... Mm -hmm, it's a nice, nice for paint. For starters, green makes it a little, a little harder to spot. I mean... I feel like a big white ship is a lot easier to spot out in space. Uh, this shade of green, you know, I mean, you can still see it, but I feel like this is just a little bit harder to see out in the distance. Um, so that was really the, the main reason why I went with it. But also, I just, you know, I like the way it looks. Anyway, we'll save changes and equip. Uh, now we can get out of the Moby Glass. Let's retrieve the ship again. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Our vehicle has been delivered to the following location. All right, different hangar this time, hangar ten. Pretty sure hangar uh, ten's one of the out. massive hangars. Look at me, I'm a star citizen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like I've done so much in this game already, and I still haven't even so much as fired the ship up yet today. There she is with the green paint. Wow, this hangar is huge. Holy crap, I think this is a lot bigger hangar than the uh, uh, the other one we were in. I don't know whether... Oh no, is it in the air? Whoa! Why is she in the air? Hello? This is poor dude. somebody in this my ship? Dude. <laughs> no. Hello? You're just catching all the bugs today. What the hell's going on here? Am I being punked? Okay. Uh, <sighs> what the hell's going on here, man? Painful. So painful. Oh, okay, there's a ladder there. Can I reach it? There we go. Okay. Sweet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, you looked out. Be well, speechless. <laughs> we're in the ship. He's on the ground. Yeah, we are. Okay, well, that was weird. It was really weird. But we're okay now. We're on the ground. By the way, I also figured out you just push I, and that's how you get to the uh, ship's storage, which is cool. Um, oh, look at that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This video ended up being a little bit longer than I wanted it to, so we're going to end it right here. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Good. All right. And that was Swanky and his first time playing Star Citizen. And gotta say that was definitely an experience he took it a lot better than i know most other people would have um 
leave a comment on what you thought of his video and please you know go down to the description and uh click on his link and give him some love as well he you know sh help him show him the ropes because uh it's definitely a learning curve but uh yeah With that being said that's gonna be it for tonight um thank you so much for watching our video if you liked it please give us a thumbs up it helps spread our channel on the youtube algorithm and let people know our channel is out there and if you felt like we earned it think about cons uh, consider subscribing to us we're a small channel looking to grow up to 100 members currently sitting at 32 and uh wanting to grow our community bigger every day with that being said that should do it and i hope you guys have a wonderful night tonight peace